Video sitemaps contain metadata about each video you have on your site, helping Google to accurately present these videos in search results. The data you place into the video sitemap must match the actual content of the video for Google to use it. Video sitemap metadata includes things like the length of the video, a title, and a short description of the video content. Now, if you use a video sitemap, your videos can appear higher in Google and also appear in Google Video, a dedicated video section of the main Google search engine. This will help boost your SEO, bring traffic to your site, and get your videos noticed by more people. Now, there are plugins that are for sale that can do this, but they all fail when it comes to YouTube videos, and that's where the traffic is. So rather than waste time, energy, and money on these plugins, I'm going to show you how to do this all for free. Hiya, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider and in this video we're going to be talking all about video sitemaps. I'm going to show you from start to finish how you can set this up on your own WordPress site without needing to spend any money. Now a couple of points, it's a little bit of a tricky thing to articulate because different people will have different amounts of knowledge. For some people it may be completely alien, for others you may have certain parts of the puzzle but not them all. So bear with me if the stuff that I explain seems rudimentary but I think it's important to cover all the bases. Next. Um, this is something that is a bit techy to show you. You are going to need to have access to your website's cPanel. We're doing WordPress here, a cPanel. So make sure that you have access to your cPanel. And just follow along, pause, rewind, and all that stuff if you get confused. So let's start from the beginning. This is one of my websites, beerswithadam.com. And I have a lot of posts on this particular website reviewing digital products. Now most, I would say almost all of my posts will have a YouTube video embedded. And it's really important whenever you publish new content on your website that that content gets indexed as soon as possible and therefore can be found by Google if somebody types in a related phrase. Now the first thing you'll need to do if you haven't done so already is you will need to create a regular sitemap. And the way that I do it on my site is that I install a free plugin. It's very well known. It's called Yoast SEO. Once you've installed and activated this plugin, you can come down to the SEO section here, and then you hit General. And then up here, you hit Features. Scroll down. Make sure XML Sitemaps is switched to On. You can hit this little um, question mark. And then you can click on this thing here. See the XML Sitemap. So we click on this, and it will bring it up. It will bring up all different kinds of sitemaps. Now, the most important one for you would be this one. It would ha it would basically have your domain, forward slash, and then it would say post-sitemap.xml. What you would need to do is basically copy this little bit here, come on over to the Google Search Console. Now, make sure that you have verified that you actually own the domain in question. There's a video that I've got that shows you how to do that. I'll put that in the top right-hand corner of the little eye. Then you'll come down to sitemaps. You will paste that thing here, post-sitemap. You can see I've done this down here already. Did this several years ago. And then you will hit submit, and you'll be basically done. Now, if you want to do it for your pages and categories as well, that's entirely up to you. But you want to do it for posts. Then what happens, we come back here. Every time that I publish a new piece of content, so let's choose this random piece of content as an example, you'll get your URL. You'll copy the URL, you'll come back over to Google Search Console, and you'll just basically paste it in here and press Enter. And after a couple of seconds, there'll be a little button or a link which will allow you to request indexing. You do that, and then Google now has put your URL in a queue, and it will put it through the indexing process. But you can also do the same things for videos. Now, in order for you to do this for videos, you're going to need to create a video sitemap. Uh, video sitemap. This is where plugins in the past have come in handy because you can install a plugin and it will do it automatically. And yes, plugins that I've mentioned, um, Yoast's paid video sitemap and other ones, they do generate the sitemap. But unfortunately, when you actually go to submit posts with videos on, they throw up errors if your videos are on YouTube. So I hope we're not moving too fast. So what you will need to do is you will need to 
upload a sitemap file. Now, below this video in the description, I am going to give you a link, and that link is going to be a, basically a video sitemap. Let me see if I can open it up and show you. Now, it looks like a lot of gobbledygook code, but don't worry. So you can see here, um, this part here is generic to everybody, and in here, these are just um, things that you're gonna need to edit later on. But what I stress that you don't do is don't change the file name, okay? Just leave it at video sitemap. Don't change anything. Just download the file that I give you. Um, it's below this in the description. We'll close this off. And then you'll want to come to the C panel of your domain. So I'm gonna open up C panel. You'll want to click on File Manager. So we'll click on File Manager. And then you'll want to scroll down and you'll want to double click on Public HTML. Okay. Then you'll click Upload. And you can drop the file that I give you in here. Now it will be called Video Sitemap. So don't rename it to anything else. Just leave it as it is. That's important. Okay. Then. Um, once it's uploaded, that's uploaded, and you've only got to do that once, okay? So let's presume that you've done that. Once you've done that, what you can then do is you can come back in here and you can just put, you know, video sitemap.xml and hit submit. But, and um, there's a big but, you are going to need to do a few extra things each time you add a new video to your site. So, again, I know this might seem a little bit complicated for people, but as you can see on this particular um, post, I have a YouTube video. So I want to make sure that my video is automatically submitted to my sitemap, and I want this to happen every single time I publish a post. So this is what we'll need to do. Let me just close a few tabs. Uh, let me come back to the start so it doesn't look confusing. So you're going to click on File Manager. Okay, then you're going to come down again, you're going to click on public HTML, then you'll scroll down and you will see video sitemap here. So what you'll do is you'll right click here and edit. This box will appear and you'll hit edit again. And again, it's going to show you a bunch of code, might look confusing. Uh, but what you can see here, you have these first two lines and then you have this here, okay, this little section here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to open up a new file, uh, a new file, and I'm going to paste this here. Now I don't know if this is easy for you to see or not, but this has all of the information about one of my posts and the video that is embedded on the post. So this is an old one. This one has already been added to my sitemap. You can see it's in here. So let's say for argument's sake, um, that this is a brand new post, okay? So what I'll need to do first is I will need to grab this string of my post URL and then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna switch it out for this one, okay? So rather than saying I am checklist gold edition review, it says video CEO review because this is the name of the post, okay? So let me just... Uh, that should be correct. Okay, we only want one forward slash. Then here is my YouTube video here. So I need to make sure that I get this YouTube video's URL. So I've already got this ready. So over here at YouTube, this is the video in question. I just need to grab that code, all of the gobbledygook after the equals sign. Okay, then I'll just switch this out here. Okay, bingo. Then I can get the title of my video. Now for this, I'm just gonna give video, I'm gonna call it Video CEO Review, and I'm gonna replace the video title. Okay, so we've got the title here. Um, the video description, I'm gonna leave it as above as well. Okay, so Video CEO Review. The next section is the thumbnail. I need to get my thumbnail URL. So I'm gonna take my full YouTube video URL and I'm going to come over to this website here and I'll, again I'll leave this link below it's comment, commentpicker.com forward slash YouTube hyphen video hyphen ID dot PHP a bit of a mouthful. I'm going to come down here I'm going to paste my video URL and I'm going to click this button okay then I'll get my high quality thumbnail I'm going to click on this okay 
and it gives me kind of this thing here. So let me just come back over here and, okay, we just basically, this thing here, here, this little bit of code, we're just gonna switch out for here. So let me just, so again, we have the, v, the VI, see the VI up here, forward slash, gobbledygook, forward slash. So just switch out the gobbledygook, okay? Now we have to find the publication date. Of, when was this video public uh, made public? So we're going to come back to this video. I look in my YouTube studio. Um, I'm going to close a few. Wait for this to kind of open up. If this doesn't open up in a second, I'll refresh it. You can see it's opening up. I have to scroll down past videos. I've got scheduled. And this one was March the 22nd, 2020. So this one says April because this is a different post. So I change that to March. I change this 20th to the 22nd. And that's it. Okay, we're good. So now I need to copy this whole thing here. Copy. I need to come back into this page. Okay. I'm going to click in here and hit space so there's a gap. And I'm going to hit uh, copy. Okay. And we can see that it kind of looks the same further down we go. So I think now we are good to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save changes. Success. Bingo. And that is all we need to do. Google um, Search Console will automatically sync with our site and update it. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, this is all great, but what is the point of all of this stuff? Well, basically, and I mentioned this in the very intro, if you, if you remembered. I want to just go back to this page. Um, <clears throat> this allows Google to more accurately read our website and the videos in question. So if somebody comes to Google further on down the line and types in a keyword phrase related to this video, somebody types in video CEO review, for example, or you know, what is video CEO, then there is a stronger chance that my video will appear higher in Google and there is a much stronger chance that my video will appear higher in the Google videos section. Now, it doesn't happen overnight. It's not a miracle. It doesn't work for every single video. It doesn't just magically rank your stuff, but it does help. And over time, this gets more traffic to your content, which is what everybody wants. So I know there's a little bit of a technical process to this video. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to provide a PDF with step-by-step -step instructions. I'll also include the raw XML file thing that you can actually upload to your cPanel as well. So that if you prefer to read it and you want to just see this stuff written down, um, there'll be a link below and you can um, grab that if you want it. Other than that, I know it's a techie video and I'm not really a techie person myself. It stresses me out, probably stress you out as well. But it's one of those things, once you've done it, all you need to do every time you publish a brand new post on your site that has a video on it, you just open up your um, cPanel, come to this section, and then just you know, basically take a previous one and switch out the URL, the video code, the thumbnail, and the the time and you hit save and you'll be done and I'm sure you're not going to be you know doing this every single day you might do this once a week for example I've, anyway I'm going to end the video now because I'm getting tired of talking about sitemaps I'm sure you're tired as well any questions let me know and cheers thank you for watching if you've got any questions or you need more clarification go and watch the video once more over on the right hand side we have some more trainings and reviews so go and watch those as well Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.